Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and do part number 15 of Let's Play SimCity Society's Destinations. It has been about a week since I, <laughs> don't even go there, about a week ago. Yep, I went there. Um, since I have uh, done a part and there really isn't any reason in particular. I still love this game. I'm still very excited. It's just been really busy lately. Like this summer so far for my channel has been nuts. Super, super, super crazy. Um, there's just been kind of a lot kind of keeping me, uh, preoccupied from being able to, um, to film this series. And we're coming up to an end anyways with it, but, um, I'm loving it. So anyways, let's just go and continue where we left off. So obviously we have that big hole in the middle of nowhere, as you can see on our map here. I just was over here like two seconds ago. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm thinking that we could possibly add in an airport uh, just to bring in more travelers to our to our city. So this is what the airport would look like. Um, I do think we could probably barely fit it in um i don't know though see i don't know i don't know if we can bring it in but from what i understand there could be some oh i gotta turn off my phone hold on a second here that's making the buzzing sounds but what i think could happen um is that there might be some sort of like pollution or something that kind of comes with it so i don't really yeah it's a eyesore and it would pretty much be in the middle of the um the doodad here so maybe we can add in like a helipad or something like that instead now i mean will this really help with our situation no not really but um it just is this me or is it like a heat wave or something i don't know it was like moving uh, i don't really think it's gonna help our situation um bringing in more people but the helipad might be good for like bringing in executives and things like that so where could we put a helipad um i think it could go right back behind here maybe um i know i'm supposed to add in the um street first so we'll do that this is easy to find so it's not gonna be that big of a deal but if you've missed this series for the last week let me know in the comments down below um it's been it's been a minute it, it really has okay where are you connecting from senor all right where are you connecting from i'm trying to get it to go here but it doesn't look like that's what it wants to do and it's not listening can we put a street like right here and then bring it behind, barely, barely could, barely, damn, all right, let me just, let me just delete that, that's irritating, okay, well, I'm sure there's like a million ways we can get roads back there, it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, oh, it's bright, it doesn't have to be just that way, but I want it to be kind of close to the city, so I'm thinking if I could somehow bring it, around town see it's saying that it's going to connect here but it's not like where is that coming from uh, oh my gosh okay let me see maybe it will go oh yay <gasps> that's so cool it freaking worked i'm so excited all right so we got that now yay 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 there's a seaport we have a seaport all right let's go put this helipad right back here um probably gonna just bring it in bring it in um behind here so let me just kind of drag this out a little bit more and then do this we could probably even add in a couple buildings back here too so it works i guess all right so here is our helipad we're gonna get as close to the ascent thrower as possible there it is it is perfectly placed right there let's go see what it does actually um it just brings in travelers right this building will spread evenly oh okay okay so actually no it does it does actually help travel which is perfection um i'm not exactly sure where it's going to bring people in from i don't know if anyone's actually coming in or anything but we shall see i don't think so uh travelers who simply must be on the other side of your city immediately have no choice but to fly who simply must be on the other side of your city so i'm assuming maybe we have to have another one um which is fine i guess we could probably put one in from the slum area or let's do it another one because we have all this money honey it just doesn't even it just doesn't even phase me look at all these people oh my gosh look how like texturized these buildings are a lot of them are pretty happy, except we got a couple of sad people here, too. 
Uh, let me go and find one. So we can kind of see what's going on and why, why ooh, nice car, bro. Uh, <laughs> see where this unhappiness is coming from. Okay, so I am, what, I have, I when I have a chance, uh, I've been out for a while. Doesn't really say why. I mean, they have a luxury car. How the hell do you have a luxury car, but you live in the freaking slums? I don't understand that. Like, it's all about priorities, I guess, right? Okay, so a helipad. Now, if I can zoom out even more, that would be great. I can probably put one um, over here perfectly. So let me do that. Go ahead and grab another one. The airport would have been brilliant. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but I really hope it would. I just, oh my god, this thing's gigantic. We need to um, put in an airport another time like in our next in our next build okay pinky swear we'll have to do it uh all right so let's put the helipad right here and now there's an actual helicopter on it so i'm assuming that um people will um go from one city to the next or not one city but travel now which is going to be pretty cool so let's see if anything happens here well nothing's gonna happen jen when you're on pause okay so here's the helicopter let me see if it actually ah i'm losing it no where are you going? All right, this thing is being a pain in the butt. Oh, here's somebody who's really upset. Uh, why are you mad? Uh, I'm furious. I'm going rogue, 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 rogue. I don't freaking know what the hell. Oh my god, why are you mad though, bro? Are you mad, bro? That's that's gonna be the title. Probably gonna forget that that's the title, but you know. All right, let's go on a helicopter ride. Let's see if it comes over to where we think it's going. Oh, it is. Look at that. That's actually pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. If it actually lands where I think it's going to land, that is cool. We need to figure out the whole happiness situation. But no, I really, I do. I think it is going to land right for this helipad right over here. Where is it at? Let's see it land if we can. Cool. Yeah, no, it is. Okay, perfect. I'm excited. That's pretty awesome. So now we have helicopters. And people can travel now. Does anybody actually get out of it? That is the real question of the dizzle. Anybody come out of the helicopter? No, but people are definitely going in. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, let me see what else we got going on here. So we got a lot of people who are upset. Uh, maybe I can read why people are upset. Um, pleasing all types of, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Focusing on the day, you made $63 to satisfy a customer. <laughs> uh, lots of issues, a lot of issues are going on around here. I probably could really just beef up this area to make it, you know, all sorts of different things. Because I feel like, you know, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot we could do with this. So what I'm going to start doing is just kind of filling up this little area here. Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, we, don't, we have a few sad people and stuff like that but we're not gonna be able to please everyone i get that totally so we need some more authority points so it seems so i'm gonna look through here and see what the authority um filter calls for i'm pretty sure it'd be like in workplaces uh okay let me see here so we could do um the uh, bureaucracy office which is pretty nice. We got a chicken coop. Oh my god, we need a chicken coop. I mean, that is like, how do you go from authority to chicken coop? Jen doesn't even understand. But, I mean, in the farming area, why not? We need to have some fun stuff in this farming area because nobody has anything to do, so it seems. And there's like a lot of people kind of going around town here. Uh, let me put the chicken poop. Um, oh, that's like an empty old house. I think maybe somebody used to live there and then, I don't know. Um, now they don't. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but we could probably put in, um, a hacienda or something here to fill up this little space. So I'm going to go find one. And I think that's what happened. Somebody lost their home here. And is that the same exact? Mm -hmm. It sure is. Uh, let me go find a, another hacienda. This one looks pretty cool. All right. Is that the same thing? Did I seriously just pick the same thing like freaking 500 times? Let's try another one. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. I'm not going to lie. It's a little difficult here. Uh, let's do this one. If it's the same one again. No, it's not. Okay, cool. So now we have another home there, uh, which is perfect because then 
you know, people can actually like do what they got to do. Uh, I'm going to build probably a little more on to the, um, the dirt road here. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is dirt, like dirt as in, <laughs> well, that explains a lot. There we go. So now we have a whole bunch of, um, like room down here now. Uh, I'm going to probably put in some stores. Let's do that for the, uh, farming area. So I'm going to put in like right here and then I'm going to build, um, like down this way too. Ooh. Let me see. I might have to not do it like that. I might have to go like right here. Uh, I don't know. Let me just put in some stores and then I guess we can kind of see where this ends up. Cause if you look this way, it doesn't really appear that we're going to be able to maybe we could probably connect this road. I don't think though. Um, Nope, there's, is that a road there too? Oh, wow. Okay, whoa, look at this house. What the hell happened here? These homes are like all the way in the air. Like how is anybody gonna get to this house? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try to delete these ones and then put them down back where they belong. That is so crazy. I don't understand why that, maybe that's a glitch or something, obviously, you know, but um, I don't know, that's a little weird. So let's go and grab another home real quick. That kind of sucks. I feel so guilty when I have to move these people out. Like it actually kind of breaks my heart a little bit. Breaks my heart. My icky break your heart. All right, there we go. So now the homes are back on the ground. Back on the ground. Except for this one. This one's all up in the air. Oh my goodness. Ugh. So frustrating. All this crap that like happens. Oh well. All right, let's go grab another one. Let's try to not have them be all the same this time. I think they are. It's okay. Uh, all right, maybe it was because of the ground situation is why that health thing happens. I really don't know. Uh, let me connect you to this road here. Okay. So we've got like a lot of action going on in these little back streets here. <laughs> so cute. Um, okay, so I'm gonna also bring it across back like that. Okay, uh, let's go look for some fun things to add in here. So we can do like, Venues um, that I think would be fun for, you know, people in this area. Uh, what would be some cool things to do? There's a candy store, a bookshop, uh, clubhouses, a clothing store, the concert hall. This is huge. Um, baseball field. This is kind of, I could see a baseball field being out here, actually. Um, but I would probably would put it maybe somewhere else. I don't really know though. Uh, this is so cute. It's like a little itsy bitsy teensy weeny little city. <laughs> I love it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I don't know where, what, 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 or where I'm going to put anything. Um, because I just don't see anything that fits my little, my little idea of what I was going for. Uh, but that doesn't mean I can't figure it out. Uh, let's see. There's a dude ranch. What the hell is a dude ranch? I don't understand. Uh, I mean, a dude ranch could be something fun for people who are looking for a little place to, you know, like have some, um, what you gonna call it? Uh, how do you say? Like, it's like, um, a, a, a venue, right? It's, it's a dude ranch. City folk who want to see life in another way. Yeah, basically it's, it's, it's perfect for this area because it is, um, part of like the whole, uh, farming theme thing, I guess. Rough in it. Uh, we need to have some people come over here. I wish I could like focus in on it, but, oh, there's a police officer. Uh, maybe we should have a police officer over here, but I don't think crime's that bad in this area. I, I don't think so anyways, but you never know. You really don't. You just, you think something's okay and then you find out the wrong way. You know what I mean? So here's driving range, which is also kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, I would think, um, in this area, but I don't know that for sure. Did the, do we ever replace those fairgrounds? Yeah. I don't remember ever replacing the fairgrounds, but that was also another thing that people can do out here is, um, enjoy like all sorts of different cool stuff. I'm going to put in a couple swing sets here for, you know, the kids, the local children. Um, and also I'm going to put in maybe like an altar or something. I know it's so weird, but that's what I'm going to do. I mean, it's not weird, but it'll bring some, some cool stuff. Oh my God. Look at them. <gasps> look at them grazing. Oh my God. They're actually, <laughs> they're knocking down the corn stalks. That is so cute. 
Oh, I love it. That is so awesome. Sometimes you just got to take a minute and just like get in there and look. You know what I mean? And see what is happening. There's a bungalow motel. There's a cineplex. That's pretty cool. Children's museum. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I want. There's just so many. drive through chapel. Uh, chances of Sims getting drunk. Yes. That's kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, I would probably put that maybe like right. I would put this kind of in the farming area. Um, but I just don't know where I would put it. Because I don't really want it to be um, all up in my grill here. So let me see if I can bring it this way. See, that would be beautiful if it would just fit right there. Okay, I'm going to put the chapel like right here. So that people can come in and, and get married and hitched and stuff like that. I want to see if how many people do actually get married here. Uh, it says... It is wildly whispered that one stop wedding is um, operated by an attorney who profits and un when unplanned marriages go bad. Look how cute that building is. That is so cute. Let's see if anybody actually gets married. I don't know if they will. Uh, let's zoom it through. Oh my god, you guys, we hit a million dollars. We actually hit over a million. I still love this building. Like I like how the altar's there. And then there's this. Oh, look. Somebody just got married. <laughs> that is so cute. That is so cute. There they are. Look, 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 look. Oh, it's and a little confetti. Oh, I love it. It's probably not going to be the, um, the idea that I had earlier. But I love it. That was great. That was so freaking awesome. Oh, she just got married. Cool. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can add in some trees over here. Actually, I want to put in a couple. I'll put in some of these trees. Why are you taking down the other trees? Why are you making this so damn difficult? All I want to do is just put in some damn trees. Okay. All right. Let me see what else we can add in here. Are we on normal speed? We're on fast. Fast speed. Faster speed. Fast. 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 That's good. All right. What time is it? Um. Okay. Let me go see what else we got going on here that we can add in our to our little area that will sort of fit into what I had in mind. Look at this castle ruin. I mean, I guess we could add in some because I know one of you guys wanted this like with the haunted house and all that stuff I just don't know where I could put it so I'm kind of sort of thinking maybe like over here I don't know that's not that far away from everything else I don't know if I will actually add that in yet maybe not in this build but another build we shall do it uh we got a whole bunch of like places for people to you know move in and stuff and whatever so I'm gonna put in a couple of nice homes or whatever uh, here as well. I'm gonna put in a couple of these brown brownstone buildings like even though this is a slum area It's actually starting to get kind of nice. That's more of the slum area and This is kind of more of the middle class. You better make sure you lock your doors area You know what I mean? Like you never know what could happen probably so there is that uh, We're gonna add in maybe some of these uh, Oh contemporary homes those could go over here because we really haven't even built up this area much at all. But we should. Um, I probably could add in some streets down here and put the homes like right there. Uh, if I can fit it, we will do that. Let me see. Um, I think I could. I'll just kind of drag them straight across here or no. What is this? Is it stuck? What are you doing? There you go. Cool. And then maybe I can also... I don't know if I can drag it down here. And then, I don't know. We're just kind of going with this here. There we go. And then, I don't know how big the homes are, so I'll see if I have room to put in more. But what I'm going to do is put in some contemporary homes over here. Uh, let's see where did they go. I freaking lost them. I always, this always freaking happens. Uh, let's see. Truck Mansion Trailer Park. All right, let's try this one more time. It shouldn't be that hard to find him, John. But, of course, I always lose everything. It's just it's a trick of the trade. And it's probably, yep, I figured it was going to be one of the first few of them. Uh, okay, so we're going to put in one here. And then I'm going to put in another one, the other option, right next to it. These look so damn cute. And there is going to be a little bit of room. So we're going to probably put in maybe some fun things. There's a graveyard. Uh, there's this jumping fountain. I don't know if it'll fit perfectly between the two. Actually, it will. Ah, and it looks nice. I like this one right here. So there we go. There's a little 
uh, fountain that goes between the two buildings. And then let me see if there's anything else that could also look really, really nice. We could probably block it off with some hedge work here, or we could put some hedge work on the side. I don't know. I don't know, but I like that. That looks pretty, pretty nice, pretty fancy. Um, I wish that would kind of fit, but I'm going to try to drag it in here. This is so hard to see you guys. Like it really is. It's so freaking hard. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of putting in whatever. I mean, it, oh, I can see the difference now. Um, all right, let me delete that guy. I don't know. I'm just trying to kind of decorate a little bit. Not really like too much though, because it is sort of a lost cause, but, uh, it looks nice. All right. So those are the contemporary homes. Um, I'm probably going to put in maybe some palm trees. Like I could put in a nice large palm tree here. Uh, and this is like the little backyard, which is really, really cute too. So I could put in a couple palm trees as well. I like this. This actually looks pretty damn nice. It's actually probably one of the nicest areas I've had. Oh, I thought that was a criminal. I'm like, what the hell is that? It's a gigantic monster. Uh, okay, inflammation, travel cost, okay, blah, 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 whatever. But yeah, I really, really, really love these um, homes. So we're going to have room for probably uh, a little bit more uh, of these co contemporary homes. I could do villas or whatever the situation is, but I think the contemporary uh, homes look pretty nice. So I'm going to put in one like right here this is going to be on a really awkward incline and then i can have another one here and we're just going to do the same so there's a whole bunch of contemporary homes right here and then i'm pretty positive if i absolutely wanted to i could put in um some like little playground sort of a deal like suburban playground somewhere around here i think we have one though i just don't know where exactly that is located uh even if i put in like a little a little something just a tiny tiny something uh for the kids then i won't feel so damn guilty i'm gonna put in one of these cop boxes in here though because i know how the crime gets around town it gets a little serious um let's go for where is it workplaces venues price there's the tents you just add in a couple tents to the backyard will be good <laughs> no no thanks what's this a double deck or what a double decker bus tour yeah i think we've been around there counseling a center i don't know if we have one of those it's just hard to keep track of what you have a uh, pet shop um fish market Ooh, a fish market would be kind of ideal so let's go do that but we're gonna put it over into our newer newer beach area what happened is this beach like destroyed or something no <clears throat> it's just not open yet okay all right so here we are down in our little town here uh, we're going to put the fish market right there. So then it kind of looks like that. That is so flipping cute. Um, let me see how many people are at the resort. There are freaking uh, 26 or something like that. Uh, we could probably add in some more affiliations, but I don't really know. I think I can add it in to. Okay, so I even got the soccer field. That's like in uh, affiliation and then I can do what else can I affiliate? I can affiliate this, which is also affiliated. Um, so we have a lot of different affiliations to this resort and I don't know exactly what that means, like what they get to do with it being affiliated, but um, there's just a whole bunch of, I think they'll go there or something. Yeah, I think they'll like end up going there and like they can it's like part of the resort maybe they get a discount or something i don't i don't know all right so i want to see pipers what is this pipers pest control guaranteed to remove all pests with no chemicals used all right well there's a cherry center there's a fireworks shack oh i love this i want to add one in um i'm gonna add in a fireworks shack no should i eh, i guess i could it's kind of an eyesore though so maybe i won't put that in we definitely need to add in more homes and things like that so i'm guessing i guess this would be kind of a good place to do it so um i'm gonna add in maybe some more i'm just gonna put like trees in the whole entire thing it's gonna be very expensive but i'm gonna just put in a whole bunch of trees and just kind of cut in because i really want i don't know maybe this to be like more of a suburban neighborhood or something i don't i don't even know yet but i'll figure it out for sure um let's see here this is such a big pretty area There's so much you can do with this so let's figure it out 
All right, and I could just probably add in some miscellaneous trees throughout downtown here so it looks nice. Okay, there we go. So it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I just think the trees kind of uh, make it not look so barren and, and not so, like, depressing looking, to be honest with you. Uh, I really like the trees and what they do for the city. Okay, so see, like, it just looks, I don't know, it just looks a lot. You can't really tell because it's dark, but it looks a lot better. Um, okay, so now that we have all this evergreen, I'm going to probably make this, like, the, what is this, a red tide? That sounds like something that happens monthly for girls. I'm just saying, a red tide. Let's see. Do we see the red tide? I don't see. Oh, I do. Oh, it is. It's red. Oh, my God. Look at you guys. Red tide. Okay. No, just kidding. This is the name of the part. Uh, 15 red tide. I love it. Okay. So it is um, a boom of algae or toxic algae boom has made the waters off Zimbabwe unsafe. Oh, beach activities are temporarily suspended and obviously all the beach areas are extremely affected so that kind of sucks but look at it look at the red tide and even like all the the jet skis and things like that are, are done oh is this is this jet ski run to like broken or something i think it is well that's good we can actually go ahead and just destroy that and put in another one i had no idea that that one was um uh, that one was um, destroyed. So actually, it just if I would use the dropper tool, life would have been a lot better. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Uh, let's add in some more tree houses, maybe. Because like these are just easy for people to kind of move in and just kind of whatever. Um, all right. Let me see if I could fit in another one. So there's like a whole bunch of like tree homes or whatever. Okay. I want to see how popular our actual cabins and things are. It seems like a lot of people enjoy them. Oh, what is this? This was a tree house that got destroyed. So we need to go and delete that. It's kind of hard to tell. So we're still, we are still picking out um, pieces of the wreckage or the mess that, um, that happened earlier. So this campground has been destroyed as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go and add in another one that really sucks that's so sad oh i really like the campgrounds we're gonna obviously add in some more so let's go find one there's a soup kitchen which is for leisure i don't know but this soup kitchen looks like it could probably go downtown oh my god there's so many things that have been destroyed i don't know if over time maybe it, this is what happens but i don't know i really like this soup kitchen and i think it's going to be a good addition to maybe put down here somewhere um I don't know exactly where, but we will figure it out. Let's put it maybe down over here um, like this. I, I kind of don't know if I want to put another hacienda, but we'll put in one right there. Uh, if you guys can kind of see that. I know we're like really close to the border here, so it may not show up, but that's the soup kitchen. And basically it is uh, dedicated to volunteers help um, make sure that no sim goes hungry. I think this soup kitchen probably would have been better downtown or not downtown but where the slums are um because i feel like that is pretty much where most of our hunger would be if we had hunger issues i don't know if we do but uh we will probably just switch it down here then and put it like right here i don't know if it's gonna squeeze in anywhere but we shall figure it out um all right i'm actually gonna put the soup kitchen right here so there we go. Let's find out what this was. What is this? Um, I have no idea. This is a housing a project. Oh my gosh. So this was one of those big tall buildings. And this is another um, place that got destroyed. I don't know if I'm going to actually need to put one in here. I don't really like that right there. So I'm going to put in maybe another housing project to make up for that one. But I'm not going to put it right there. Uh, let me go and maybe move it to over here. Could probably put in two to where this wouldn't really affect the area too much, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to put it right in here and then one there. 
Uh, all right, so we need some spirituality to be able to run that soup kitchen. Now I'm going to go back and delete the other one, and maybe that will kind of clear up any issues. Let's go ahead and take a peek. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. And yeah, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. FYI, part number, I think we're on 15 and 16, are going to be filmed together so if there's any suggestions or anything that you left in this part or the next and i didn't obviously do it in the next part that is why so again thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys